Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a Sephora VIB sale haul. I placed an order online, I went shopping in the store, and it was actually, this, these are purchases over the last couple of weeks, it wasn't just from the sale, but I'm gonna put it all together into this because yeah, I'm not gonna do like five different mini hauls. That's just how I shop. So I have an update chit chat get ready with me video that I will be posting after this haul, but I wanted to get this haul up so that you can still get it while the sale is still going on. Let's just get started. So the first thing that I got that I was like really excited about and really wanted to try was this palette from Natasha Denona. This is the, now I think it's pronounced the Lila palette, but I've been pronouncing it the Lila palette. Quick little story, Ruben and I have always talked about like what our kids' names will be whenever we get married and have kids. And the name for the girl that we both really love is Lila. And that's just kind of like what we've, always talked about. I mean, who knows when the day comes, we might just be like, I don't know, she looks like a Britney. You know, you never know. But that is the name that we've both just like loved for so long. So when I saw this, I thought it was pronounced the Lila palette and I got it not only just for the name, but because of the colors. This is what the colors look like. And if you guys watch my videos, you know that purples are like my favorite shadows to work with. I freaking love purples. I don't know what it is about them, but I, I just love them. So this palette was so, just like perfect. I feel like it had my name written all over it. So I'll be honest with you, I never ever thought that I would ever buy a Natasha Denona palette because I'm sure you guys know that this is stupid expensive. It is ridiculous. But I watch Stephanie Nicole on YouTube. I'm sure you guys do too. And if you're not, you need to subscribe to her because she's amazing. But she did a video on, I believe it was the Lila palette and she was talking about the shadows and giving, she does like cost breakdowns so that you can see like how much you're paying per gram and she does it for different brands. I didn't realize that each eyeshadow is actually filled with way more product than like your average size eyeshadow that's like this. If you really break it down, it's actually like the same price as Makeup Week eyeshadows, which is insane. I did not realize that, um, cause when you're paying, yeah, to go check out her video. She explains it very, very well. So after I saw that, it was like, okay, you have justified my purchase, so I bought this palette. I have tried this once so far, and I did it on an Instagram Live, but I haven't played with it since. So if you wanna see this palette in action, let me know. I Well, I'm gonna do it anyways, cause I'm so excited to play with this. But yeah, they're supposed to be like amazing, buttery, creamy eyeshadows, and I have to say that they are from the one time that I have tried it. Um, but yeah, if you wanna see this in action more, let me know. The next thing that I got here is the Precisely My Brow Pencil from Benefit. I recently went darker with my hair and I wanted to get a little bit of a darker, whoop, a darker pencil. So this is the way that the pencil looks. It's just a eyebrow pencil. It's kind of cool packaging. Um, and I got the shade number three. I think that that matches my brows pretty perfectly. It's what I have in my brows right now. It's an ashy brown, but it's not like too gray, if that makes sense. Sometimes when I get ashy colored browns, they end up turning like straight up gray and it's, that's not what I'm looking for. So I got that in shade number three. This is something that I was so excited about. This is from Tarte. It's a blush palette and I feel like this is such a great deal. So it's $44. It says it retails for $150 because you're getting a plethora. Open up, come on a plethora of blushes. Look at this. Now, Tarte has one of my favorite formula of blushes. I I just love the formula. I feel like they're really creamy, very just smooth and pigmented and they last forever. I love them. These are smaller than your average blush, but I never actually finish blushes. I don't know, I just never, I don't know. I feel like I've got too many to finish. I just love this. I'm excited to try it and play with it and yes. I totally forgot that I got these because I, I think I bought these like a month ago, honestly. These are the Blinking Butte Lashes. Um, what style did I get these in? Would you tell me? Oh, Bombesque, they're right there in the beginning. Um, I think that I saw Jaclyn Hill wear these or something and I was like, oh, I need those. Um, but yeah, they're in the color Bombesque. They're very, they remind me a little bit of like iconic lashes from House of Lashes, but they're a little bit more wispy than that. So kind of cool. I like them. All right, next I got the Dior Addict Lip Glow in the color Berry. I am obsessed with the original lip glow, which is in the color pink, but I wanted something that was gonna be just a little bit deeper for fall because I, even though I'm wearing like this bright red orange lip color right now, I am not like a lip kind of gal on the reg. Day to day, I pretty much just like do no makeup, honestly, but if I do have makeup on, I won't put on a lip and then in the car or while I'm out, I'll slap on my lip glow. So I wanted a berry color that was more like for 
the fall time, you feel me? So this is in the berry shade and I have been using it. It is perfect. I love these so much just because it's not gonna be like a full pigment color all over your lips. It's gonna be something that is more sheer and natural. These actually mix like with your natural lip color to create a unique shade for each person. So this is gonna look completely different on you than it does on me and I just, I love it. The only one of these that I won't buy is the orange one just because I don't find myself wanting a sheer orange color on my lips, but the pink and the purple, I'm just down with. I don't exactly know what this is, but it's from It Cosmetics. It's called Anti-Aging Armor. This is basically like a tinted sunscreen, I believe. I'm gonna try it out right now. I saw Alex Garza using this in a video like over the summer and I always kind of wanted to try it out just because I like more sheer products. I mean, I always say that and then one when I'm talking about it, I've got like the most like full glam makeup on, but day to day I like like barely any makeup at all. So if this is gonna be completely sheer, I'm probably just gonna bring it back, but they make it look like it perfects your skin just a little bit. We'll see how this looks. And it's tinted, but they say it's translucent. So I don't know, we'll see how this goes. Ooh. I'm gonna try this probably in a full face of first impressions. I will film that probably tomorrow and then get that up sometime this week or next. I can even see this being just like an under, an under base type deal before I put on foundation and stuff. I don't know. We'll see how this goes. I'm very excited to try it. I've been wanting to try it for couple months now. Oh, this thing I got, okay, so I'm very picky with fragrance. There's a lot of fragrances that I do not like. Um, and ultimately I have like one fragrance that I use all year round, all the time, that is my signature fragrance. And it's the Coco Mademoiselle from Chanel. Now I've been use, I've been wearing that for a couple years now. How long has it been? Maybe like like six years I think I've been wearing that perfume. And when I worked at Sephora, the only other perfume that I would spray when I was at work was this one. It's the Burberry Brit for her. Now, I bought this and I'm actually going to return it because when I was at Nordstrom Rack, I found the exact same thing for $20 cheaper, even with my coupon. So before I even, I'm just not even gonna open this. I'm just gonna bring it back because I got it for way cheaper. There's that. But this smells amazing. This is like my other fragrance that I really love and it kind of reminds me of like Christmas time because when I worked at retail, I was there literally every day, all day during the holidays and I would spray it when I got to work. And um, yeah, it kind of just reminds me of this time of year. So about that. So this next product I've been wanting to try, but I was always just kind of like, eh. I don't know, is it really gonna do anything? So I decided I was gonna try it this time. This is the Tarte Pack Your Bags, 911 Under Eye Rescue Patches. There's four in here for these little sheets. I guess I should show you what I'm looking at. I haven't done this in so long. I'm like, there's four sheets, you can't see them. Um, they look like this. They're just little eye patches that you put under your eyes. I've heard people reuse these. I need to like Google that and see if that's a thing. Um, Cause part of me is kind of like grossed out to do that, but. At the same time, I'm also cheap, so I figured I'd try these out. They're supposed to help with your under eye bags and just like make you look great. I don't know. I figured I'd try that on a day where I feel like pampering myself. I never really do like a full day of pampering, but you know what I mean. I just feel like trying these out and I feel like I see people use them all the time on Snapchat and the tube and all that kind of stuff. So I kind of felt like being bougie and trying out an under eye mask. I'm probably not gonna see a difference, but whatever. Okay, so this is something, yeah, I've wanted this for so long. This is the Tom Ford cheek brush. This is not the bronzer brush. I almost bought the bronzer brush because I've, I almost bought the bronzer brush. That is the one that I've wanted forever, but I'd never actually even gone and like felt it or anything. And when I was in LA, I went to Nordstrom and I actually felt the bronzer brush and oh my gosh. It's amazing. It is so freaking soft. I can't even believe it. But I almost bought that one uh, during the sale. And then I thought, oh my God, like I love my Real Techniques brush. I love this thing. And this is soft. It's not as soft as the Tom Ford one, which is surprising because this is pretty darn soft. But I just thought to myself, seriously, like that is a drugstore brush that I'm obsessed with for bronzer. Why would I go and buy this crazy expensive one? So I still kind of like wanted to try a brush from Tom Ford and I thought, you know what, let's get the cheek brush. So I will show you what this look like. looks like. This is the number six cheek brush. I've been using my 168 brush from MAC for blush ever since I started makeup. This is like one of the first 
brushes I ever bought in makeup. So I just wanted to try something different just because I'm not like, oh my God, die hard for that brush or anything. It's just the only one that I really like. So I thought that I would try another one. And this I feel like I could use for bronzer and for blush. So it is ridiculously soft. Um, there's actually a piece of tape on here, which is kind of weird. Ah, I'm excited to try it. I feel like it's gonna be the perfect size for blush. I guess I could use it for bronzer as well. It's just a very bougie, luxurious brush. We'll see, it could be crap, you never know. All right, so next I got the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette. I wasn't even gonna get this, but when I was getting ready with my friend Amanda in LA, she had this and I was obsessed with it. I didn't even realize, I didn't even know what I didn't even know. I feel like because I got the Lila palette from Natasha, Tasha Denona. I didn't need like another purple palette. And then when I saw this in person, it was just like, I need this. I need this palette. It's beautiful. So the packaging is just gorgeous. I love the way that it feels. This one comes with a mirror inside of it and it comes with all of these gorgeous colors, which are so just, mm. I love purples. It's also got like warms. I'm excited to try this too. I kind of want to like use this with the Lila palette. I feel like they would really work nicely together. There's also some great neutrals. I feel like you could do cool tone looks with this as well. I'm about it. I'm excited to try this. I love doing this. Well, I've never done it, but I see people do it all the time. I'm just really excited about this because it kind of caught me off guard. I didn't think I was gonna want it. I feel like when I saw it online, I was like, eh. I don't know, I just was. And I think it's because I got the Natasha Denona palette that I was like, I don't really need that. And then, all right you guys, well that was everything that I got during the Sephora VIB sale and before the VIB sale. Um, I could have definitely waited on like half of these products and got them during the sale, especially since I didn't even open them <laughs> until right now, but Whatever, it is what it is. Um, what did you guys end up getting? What do I need? I know there's only like two days left of the sale. I'm gonna try to edit this video and get it up tonight. You guys pretty much know my collection. Is there something that I don't have that you think that I need? Let me know because now's the time to get it. I feel like the sale is the time to shop just because Sephora never ever has sales. So when they do, you wanna take advantage of it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I will have my chit chat get ready with me video up very soon, right after this video so that you can see this makeup look, except for the lip. I have a different lip on on that. But um, what am I trying to say? I don't even know, lost my, my train of thought. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you later.